Today we embark on a thrilling journey into the heart of Formula 1, the adrenaline pumping realm where speed, technology and iconic venues collide. Our destination, the once promising and exhilarating Bud International Circuit in India. Formula 1, the epitome of motorsport, has left an indelible mark on fans worldwide. In this video, we unravel the captivating tale of what transpired in the vibrant landscape of Indian Grand Prix glory and investigate the compelling factors that ultimately sealed its fate. Now, slam that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you won't want to miss a second of this wild ride through racing history. As of the 2023 season, Formula 1 has left its tyre marks in 34 different countries, each hosting races on iconic circuits that have witnessed drivers pushing the limits. Among these locations was India, where the paddock descended for the first time in 2011 at the Buddha International Circuit, marking the initiation of a five-year deal. However, the partnership was curtailed after just three races. Vettel and Red Bull stand as the sole victors of the Indian Grand Prix, leaving an indelible mark on the circuit and the memories of racing enthusiasts worldwide. As early as 1997, Formula One harbored plans to introduce racing events in India. However, the realization of this vision faced obstacles, primarily stemming from the sport's limited popularity in the country and the scarcity of permanent tracks, numbering only two at a time. In 2007, Vijay Malia, who would later become the owner of the Force India Formula One team, proposed the idea of creating a street circuit in New Delhi. Despite the discussions around the proposal, the ultimate decision was to host the inaugural Indian Grand Prix at the Buddha International Circuit in Greater Nuida in 2010. However, due to an error in the assessment of the construction timeline, the debut year was shifted to 2011. And in 2011, the global phenomenon of Formula One reached the Indian subcontinent with the introduction of the Indian Grand Prix. This historic event took place at the Bud International Circuit, a state-of-the-art racing facility nested near Greater Nuida, just outside New Delhi. Designed by the renowned Herman Tilka, the circuit boasted a challenging 3.192-mile layout with 16 corners and notable undulation, setting the stage for thrilling races. The inaugural Indian Grand Prix in 2011 marked a milestone for motorsport enthusiasts in the country. The Bud International Circuit, with its impressive infrastructure and capacity for 110,000 spectators, expandable to 200,000, quickly became a favorite among drivers and fans alike. Sebastian Vettel's dominance in the races further elevated the event's status, creating a buzz within the Formula One community. Sebastian Vettel's tenure in India during the existence of the Formula One Indian Grand Prix was marked by jubilant celebrations and remarkable victories for the Red Bull team. Perhaps the pinnacle of these moments occurred in 2013, a year that not only saw him clinch the race, but also secure his fourth and final World Championship title. Interestingly, this victory coincided with the conclusion of the Formula One Grand Prix in India, which, to date, remains the last edition of the event. Beyond the track triumphs, Vettel shared more about his experiences in India during a fan interaction in 2020. When queried about his time in the country, he fondly recollected the enjoyment he derived from racing around the Bud International Circuit, where he achieved a flawless record of winning all the Grand Prix events held at that venue. As mentioned earlier, a five-year agreement was established by Formula One and the government of India. However, the intriguing question arises. Why was the race cancelled after only three rounds? While the initial year showcased promise and success, challenges began to emerge. The 2012 season witnessed a notable drop in attendance, with numbers falling from 95,000 to 65,000. Bernie Eccleston, the then Formula One Supremo, downplayed the decline, attributing it to the typical second-year dip. However, underlining issues were surfacing, hinting at a more complex situation. In 2013, the Indian Grand Prix faced multifaceted challenges, a lack of advertising on television, minimal social media presence, and a shift in focus by associated brands contributed to a decline in public interest. Additionally, ticket prices, initially set at levels significantly higher than those for cricket matches, proved to be a detriment to attendance. 
Situated in the national capital region of India, the Bud International Circuit fell under the jurisdiction of the Uttar Pradesh state government. At the time, the chief minister of the state was Akhilesh Jadev, who held the perspective that Formula One should be classified as entertainment rather than a sport. Consequently, the sport faced taxation based on this classification, missing out on the tax exemptions afforded to other sports in the country. Additionally, custom fees for essential components like engines and tires were not waived, contributing a series of complications that prompted a halt in the contractual agreement. Despite initial announcements by Formula One, indicating a return in 2015 after a hiatus in 2014, later revised to 2016, the event faced insurmountable challenges and was eventually called off. Financial challenges escalated, with sponsors losing interest and ticket sales failing to recover. The Indian Grand Prix, an event not subsidized by the government, had to bear the entire $40 million cost to Formula One holdings to host the races. The financial burden became unsustainable, ultimately contributing to the decision to cancel the race. Despite the cancellation of the Indian Grand Prix, the Bud International Circuit continues to stand as a testament to what a world-class racing venue should be. Beyond its Formula One legacy, the circuit played a pivotal role during the pandemic, serving as a shelter and quarantine zone, highlighting its adaptability and utility. The track, easily accessible from New Delhi, remains a venue for various events, including track days and concerts. The facility, capable of generating approximately $170 million in revenue and providing employment for up to 10,000 people during the Grand Prix, showcases the economic potential that Formula One events can bring to the region. While the Indian Grand Prix remains absent from the Formula One calendar, the desire among fans to see its revival is palpable. The challenge lies in addressing the financial aspects, garnering government support and rekindling public interest. Formula One, with its global appeal, has the potential to create a lasting impact in India, provided the right balance of investment, promotion and strategic planning is achieved. A decade later, the fan base of Formula One in India appears to be expanding consistently in this era of technological growth. Documentaries, OTT shows and the motorsport's active presence on social media have all contributed to the increasing number of Formula One enthusiasts in the country. The successful hosting of India's inaugural MotoGP event further underscores the steadfast support of the government for such sporting endeavours. Current Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath expressed this commitment, stating, As we applaud the champions and anticipate their bright futures, we are dedicated to nurturing talent and fostering sportsmanship in UP. While 2025 might seem overly optimistic at this point, the successful execution of MotoGP events in the upcoming years could potentially influence Formula One and the World Motorsport Council to reconsider a return to India in the coming years. For the 2024 season, MotoGP has tentatively included the Grand Prix of India in its calendar, but a formal confirmation is expected soon. In conclusion, the rise and fall of Formula One in India is a multifaceted story of initial success, subsequent challenges, and the complex interplay of financial, governmental, and promotional factors. The Bud International Circuit, with its remarkable design, stands as a symbol of what was and what could be. As the Formula One landscape evolves, there remains hope that the roar of engines will once again echo through the Indian Grand Prix, reclaiming its place in the hearts of racing enthusiasts worldwide. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting F1 updates and analysis. Stay tuned, and until next time, Keep revving those engines.